Hi, Mr Corsi here. Well, here's a good old trig question for us. We're given a right angle triangle. We know the hypotenuse is root 11 and we know the opposite side is 2. And we're asked to find the exact value of sine 2x, where x is this angle here and also cos 2x. And then in part b, going on to expand sine 2x plus x and find the exact value of that. So the whole thing will hinge on finding this third side. We will definitely need that. So in the right angle triangle, which we've got there, right angle triangle, we'll use Pythagoras' theorem. And we've got a squared, that's not the hypotenuse, so we'll subtract the squares of the other two sides. Now we know square root of 11 times square root of 11 is just 11. 2 squared is 4, so 4 from 11 is 7. So that means that the other side is the square root of 11, positive quantity, because it's the length. So that's the third side of that triangle. So let's tackle A part 1. We need to find the exact value of sine 2x. Now, double angle formula tells us there's one version of this, and it's twice sine x cos x. So, do we know the value of sine x? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. That's 2 over root 11. Do we know the value of cos x? Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's root 7 over root 11. And multiplying fractions. And remember, this is 2 over 1. We multiply the top. Numbers, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times root 7. And we multiply the bottom numbers, 1 times root 11 times root 11. Now root 11 times root 11 is just 11. So we basically get 4 elevenths of root 7. So that's the exact value of sine 2x. Let's move on now to the second part of part A. And it asks us to do the same for cos 2x. Now, we're really spoiled for choice here. We're going to have 2 cos squared x minus 1, or cos squared x minus sine squared x, or 1 minus 2 sine squared x. Let's do the first one that I gave you, 2 cos squared x minus 1. Let's use that one. So 2 times, now what did we say cos x was? It was root 7 over root 11. And we're squaring that, multiplying it by itself. Let's just write it like that. So that's your cos squared minus 1. Now, multiplying these fractions, 2's in the top, 2 times root 7 times root 7. Root 7 times root 7 is 7. Double 7 is 14. On the bottom, we get root 11 times root 11. That's just 11. So 14 11 minus 1. We'll write 1 as 11 11 and if we've got 14 of these 11s minus 11 of the 11s, we'll have 3 of them left. That's 3 11s. So cos 2x, exact value, 3 11s. So finally, let's move on to this last part where we're asked to find the exact value of sine 3x. And they're giving us a hint that we have to think of 3x as 2x plus x. And we have to expand this. The addition formula has a pattern of for expanding a sine. Sum of two angles, it's a sine cos plus cos sine. So we put the angles in, 2x and x, 2x and x. And it's a plus. So that's the pattern. Let's fill in values now. Sine 2x, we've been there before, for root 7 over 11. Cos x, we've been there, we've done it. Cos x is root 7 over root 11. Cos 2x, been there, done it, 3 elevenths. Sine x, been there, done it, 2 over root 11. So 
So let's figure out this. We'll multiply the top numbers. 4 times root 7 times root 7. Remember, root 7 times root 7 is 7. 4 7s are 28. So we've got 28 over 11 root 11. And to that, we have to add 3 times 2 is 6. 11 root 11. Same denominator, so we can just add the numerator. Numerators together. That's 34 over 11 root 11. Now that's the exact value of the answer. It might be possible just to rationalise it and multiply top and bottom by root 11 so that there's no square root sign on the bottom. So we'll get 34 root 11 over and uh, root 11 times root 11 is 11 times this 11 is 121. So we've got 34 over 121 times that root 11. And that's the exact value of sine 3x. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching this video.